In this video we are going to see the rod cutting problem and how it fits into the dynamic pep, uh, programming paradigm and uh, how can we solve it. So first let's understand the problem. So the rod cutting problem states that if we have a rod of length L and we can break into smaller units like if its length is L then we can break into 1 unit length, 2 unit length and so on all the way up to length L. In this case we do not break the rod at all and we are given the prices of the various lengths like here for this case the length is 8 and we are given this price array that if the price of 1 unit of rod is 1, 2 unit is 3, 3 unit is 7 and so on and the price of 8 unit of rod is 17. So if uh, we sell the rod without breaking it we will get 17 because the length of 8 we get price of 17. So we need to partition it in such a way that we get the maximum price for this rod. Like in diamond business also larger pieces of diamond have higher price like if this its weight is uh, 10 grams and we have we take 10 1 gram each diamond then this sum of these 10 will not be equal to this this total 10 gram because the price of these smaller pieces of diamond is very less much much less compared to larger diamond. So that's why uh, the price of this uh, rod is also depends on the length of the rod and it's not in exact ratio of their lengths. So now uh, let's say we call this problem R, R for rod cutting or RC, RC of 8 then we can break it into many many sub problems like one possibility is that we break into length of 1. So in this case price will be 1 plus now we are left with 7 units of rod. So 1 plus RC7 this one is the price of 1 unit or we can break in break take a piece of length 2 from this rod. In this case we will get this price 3 and the remaining length is 6. Similarly, 7 plus RC5, then 6, 8, sorry, price of 4 unit is 8, 8 plus RC4, then for length 5 we get 12 plus RC3, for 6 unit we will get uh, 15 plus RC2 for 7 unit we get 16 plus RC1 and if we take the entire 8 unit we get 17 we can write plus RC0 but for a rod of length 0 the price is 0 otherwise we can make any price out of it by taking it unlimited number of times so the price of a rod of length 0 has to be 0 so these are the 8, eight possibilities so now if you see this RC8 breaks down into 8 sub problems and this if we break RC7 then again we can break it into 1 plus RC6 then RC5 4, 3, 2, 1 but you see that RC5, 6 we are solving here also and here we will solve RC5, 4 and so on. So this entire subtree is repeated here. Then we have RC7, in fact RC7 also we are solving, 5, 8. So it has a huge number of sub problems that we are solving again and again. So here we have overlapping sub problems. 
and if we solve this uh, smaller problems optimally then we will get the optimal solution to this bigger problem that is RC8 so this problem is hinting towards dynamic programming because it satisfies both the conditions it has many overlapping sub problems so we need to store the values so now let's start solving this problem first let's solve for 0 RC0 is 0 we take this base case then RC1 RC1 is, is equal to maximum of so we have to take maximum of all these because these are the 8 possibilities so either we partic take first partition as 1 or 2 and so on so we will finally pick that solution which gives the maximum price so we have to pick the maximum of all of these for RC1 there is only one possibility so price is 1 for RC2 it have 1 plus RC1 and 1 plus and 2 plus RC0 so 2 is 3 so 3 plus 0 so max RC1 is again 1 so it gives 2 it gives 3 so max is 3 so RC2 is 3 now to calculate RC3 we will need 1 plus RC2 uh, then 3 plus RC1 and then the completely R3 which is 7 7 so RC2 is so this is 4 RC1 is 1 this is 4 max is 7 so RC3 is 7 so if we have a rod of length 3 maximum we can get is 7 now let's calculate RC4 so 1 plus RC3 3 plus RC2 7 plus RC1 and then completely 4 is 8 so so RC3 is 7 so this gives 8 RC2 is 3 so 3 plus 3 6 RC1 is 1 so 8 and this 8 so maximum is 8 so RC4 is 8 now similarly RC5 1 plus RC4 2 plus sorry 3 plus this is the price of length 1 price of length 2 so 3 plus RC3 7 plus RC2 8 plus RC1 and then price of 5 unit is 12 so 12 RC4 is 8 so this is 9 RC3 is 7 so this is 10 RC2 is 3 so this is 10 C1 is 1 so 9 and this is 12 so maximum is 12 so we have RC5 now we can calculate RC6 and then 15 so RC5 is 12 so this gives 13 RC4 is 8 so give 11 7 plus 7 14 RC2 is 3 3 plus 8 11 13 so 15 is the maximum now we are left with two more 
1 plus RC 6, 3 plus RC 5, 7 plus RC 4, 8 plus RC 3, 12 plus RC 2, 15 plus RC 1 and length 7 is 16 so this is also 16 then 12 plus RC 2 15 8 plus RC 3 is 15 7 plus RC 4 is again 15 3 plus RC 5 is again 15 and 1 plus RC 6 is 16 so this was this is also 16 and this is also 16 that is if you completely sell 7 or 1 plus 6 so for RC 7 it's 16 now our final so this will be the answer so it's 1 plus RC 7 3 plus RC 6 uh, then 7 plus RC 5 8 plus RC 4 12 plus RC 3 15 plus RC 2 16 plus RC 1 and last uh, last is 17 so RC7 is 16 so this is 17 RC6 is 15 plus 3 18 RC5 is 12 so 12 plus 7 is 19 RC4 is 8 so 8 plus 8 is 16 RC3 is 7 7 plus 12 is 19 and then RC2 is 3 so 3 plus 15 18 and RC1 is 1 so it's 17 so the maximum of these is 19 so we have two 19's so 7 plus RC 5 so 7 corresponds to length 3 so 3 plus 5 and this is 12 5 plus 3 so it's expected that these will be same so here the maximum value for this is 19 which is 5 plus 3 so 5 is 12 and 3 is 7 so we will get 19 so uh, we can quickly uh, write the code for this in C++ so we will define a function cut rod and we will give it a array of prices and length of the price array so val well 0 is 0 so that's why we have taken one extra length to just account for this and then we can iterate through all the lengths, all the possible lengths or we'll start with length 1 so we initialize the max well with minimum integer and then so 
and then we will iterate for all lengths smaller than this i. So price of jth unit, so this price is of length L, uh, so, so price of length 1 means P of 0 because we are starting the indexing from 0 in the price array and so that's why minus 1 price of length j is P of j minus 1 plus we are left with j unit length less so this val stores the solutions so this is solution array that is value of optimal value for selling rod of length 0 and similarly this length i minus j because we took j unit away from this i and we added its price and then we can get whatever is the value of the remaining part so it will iterate through all the possible partitions and compare it with the existing max and then we will store that in our solution mat solution array and then return the last solution so let's uh, try this code with some example the same example that we saw in our code uh, uh, in our explanation so it's 1 3 7 8 12 15 1 3 7 8 12 15 So now let's run it and it should print 19 if if everything is correct because we have taken the same example yes so it prints 19 as expected so this was the same example that we have discussed so uh, this is how we solve the rod cutting problem so it, it fits perfectly into the dynamic programming paradigm due to its overlapping sub problems and optimal substructure property so thanks for watching and give your valuable feedbacks in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you